Today you're going to watch a video on Brain Pop Jr. about how to take care of your teeth. Please listen carefully to this video so you can learn great ways to keep your teeth healthy. Say cheese, Moby. Uh, not exactly. When you say cheese, you smile and show off your teeth. What are teeth? Your teeth are inside your mouth. The teeth are held in the jawbone. And your gums cover both the bone and the teeth. The root is the part covered by the gums. The crown is the part of the tooth you can see. The crowns are covered in enamel. Enamel is the hardest material in the whole body. Teeth help you cut, grasp, tear, and chew your food into small pieces that you can swallow. Why should you care for your teeth? Mm. When you eat, tiny bits of food get stuck on your teeth. Plaque is a soft, sticky layer of germs that can form on teeth. Over time, plaque can create cavities and cause your gums to bleed. A cavity is a small hole in the enamel that can weaken your tooth. Cavities can hurt and cause problems. But brushing your teeth helps remove plaque and protects your teeth. You should brush your teeth at least twice a day, in the morning and before you go to bed. If you can, you should brush your teeth after eating meals or sweet snacks. Hmm, how should you brush your teeth? You should use a toothbrush that has soft bristles. First, put a small amount of toothpaste on your toothbrush. You just need a little bit, about the size of a pea. Then, place the bristles at an angle against your teeth. Gently brush back and forth in short motions or use small circles. If you push too hard, it could harm your teeth and gums. Brush the crowns of all your teeth. And brush both sides of the teeth. Remember to keep the bristles at an angle towards your gums. Also remember to brush both the bottom and top set of teeth. Oh, and don't forget to brush the teeth in the back. You should turn your toothbrush and clean the backs of your front teeth, too. You should take about two to three minutes to brush your teeth. I set a timer to make sure I brush for the right amount of time. It's important to floss, too. How should you floss your teeth? Dental floss is a special thin string that you use to clean between your teeth. You should ask a grown-up to help you floss. Hold a piece of floss between your fingers, wrap the ends around your middle fingers, and use your thumbs and index fingers to guide the floss between your teeth. Slowly move it back and forth as you slide it between your teeth. Curve the floss around your tooth and gently move it up and down between your teeth and gums. Make sure to floss between all your teeth, even the ones in the back. You should floss before you go to bed. 
Your gums might bleed a little or feel a little sore after you floss for the first few times. Don't worry, it gets easier as you floss more. What are other ways you can care for your teeth? It's important to go to the dentist twice a year. The dentist will check your teeth closely and look for cavities and other problems. You can care for your teeth by avoiding sugary drinks and foods. Sugar helps plaque grow and can cause cavities to form faster. You can also eat foods that help you grow strong teeth. Some foods like milk, yogurt, cheese, nuts, and dark vegetables are high in calcium. Your body uses calcium to build strong bones and teeth. You use your teeth every day, so it's important to take care of them. Right, Moby? Now, say cheese. Now that you've listened to that great video on Brain Pop about how to take care of your teeth, I want to know what foods are good or bad for your teeth. You're going to grab a sheet of paper that looks like this. It's in the shape of a tooth. It's divided in the middle with a dotted line, and on one side it says good, and the other side it says bad. B, ad, bad. You're going to use this sheet to glue on pictures that are good for your teeth or bad for your teeth. Now you're going to grab a sheet that has lots of different pictures that you need to color first. You're going to color with crayons. Grab your crayons and begin to color. Now that you have colored in one of your pictures, it's a picture of ice cream. Is ice cream good or bad for your teeth? You're going to cut out this picture on a dotted line. So you'll grab your scissors. Next, you're going to decide, is this good or bad for your teeth? I know that Mrs. Boone loves ice cream but it is not good for my teeth. It can be harmful and cause cavities. I'm going to put glue on the back and I'm going to put this on the bad side. B, ad, bad. Now you're going to continue with your sheet, coloring in the pictures and then gluing them on. This is a picture of toothpaste. Is toothpaste good or bad for your teeth? This is a picture of a candy cane. Is this picture good or bad for your teeth? Here's a carrot, a cupcake, your toothbrush, soda, gum, the dentist, and an apple. Be sure to color them all in your very best coloring with crayon. Cut them out and glue them onto the side of the tooth that it should be on. Once you're finished with this, you're going to put it on the drying rack to dry, then grab yourself a computer, log into SuccessMaker Reading. Have fun. Oh, and don't forget, it's super important to put your name at the top. That lets me know who has worked so hard on this paper.